Well, tonight is a big night at the Academy of Music. It's opening night for Opera Philadelphia's production of Verdi's Rigoletto, and this will mark the first time a fully staged opera will be performed on the Academy stage since September of 2019. So we are so excited to talk all about this and welcome tenor Joshua Blue to Philly Live. Joshua, you are making your Opera Philadelphia debut this evening. How exciting. It is a wonderful time. We are having an absolute blast putting this show together, and it's such a thrill to be making my debut in what is now my, my home city. I love it. You know, Philly is a great place to call home, so congratulations. We're so excited for you. Tell us a little bit more about this production and what we can expect and the role that you play. This production is relatively new. Uh, Lindy Hume, uh, New Zealand director, created it to modernize the piece. It's a story of betrayal. It's a story of love it, and and violence and, it, you know, kind of all of those tropes you want to see in a really grand opera. Um, the 10-second the elevator pitch of it, I'm playing the role of the Duke of Mantua, who is, uh, in this production, just been re-elected as president of this fictional city. Uh, and my court jester, Rigoletto, uh, well, him and I are like a pair. We're thick as thieves. We're always going around causing trouble. Uh, and it catches up to us. We got taken uh -oh. a step too far. Uh, we get called out on it. Finally, I mean, the Duke is not a good person. This is my first real villain role on stage. And we get called out on it by uh, one of our, our companions who curses us. It's actually hard to picture you as a villain because you seem as sweet as a teddy bear right now. <laughs> so it'll certainly hope. make <laughs> for an interesting show. Joe, uh, and Joshua, you know you're no stranger to the stage. You sing all over the world. What brought you to Philadelphia? You mentioned this is your home city now. Sure, yeah. Uh, my partner brought me to Philadelphia. She had gone to school here. She's lived here for a long time. When and it was when we were trying to find a place to settle down, Philly just seemed right. You know, it was a place that she knew everyone, so obviously I knew everyone. Uh, and it's just such a great place for art uh, and a great place for food. And, you know, I love love some good food. Uh, it just made sense. Uh, and I've, I've been so happy being here. Oh, you fit right in already. You had me at food and art. <laughs> <laughs> Just <laughs> Now, you mentioned this show. It's got a lot of excitement in it, a lot happening. But talk about the excitement of being back on the stage and performing in front of a live audience, along with all of the amazing people involved in putting this production together. Absolutely. You know, it's been a long road to get back to the stage, uh, and we've had to find so many different creative ways to keep art alive in the past few years. Uh, a very common one was recording things, performing, you know, on Zoom operas and performing, you know, pre-recorded things that was wonderful. Uh, but what art needs is a reactionary side to it, and that's the audience that we've been really missing. Uh, I could sing these arias all day and I love singing them, but unless I have someone that's able to react to that and give me that energy who's seeing it for the first time, it just isn't the same. And I, I, I think I can honestly speak for every single member of this cast and crew when I say we are so thrilled to have people in the house again and to be able to share our art live with people for the first time in a very long time. Uh, it just, it means the world to us. Well, once again, tonight is the night. Opera Philadelphia's production of Verdi's Rigoletto is live on stage through May 8th at the Academy of Music on the Kimmel Cultural Campus right here in Philadelphia. And of course, you can get more details all about the show in the Philly Live section of NBC10.com or the NBC10 app. Joshua Blue, thank you so much for joining us on Philly Live, our sweet teddy Thanks bear turned me. villain. <laughs> thank you.